because they used to do. Are we on? No. No. Good morning, Seabury Hall. We are absolutely so excited to welcome everyone to today's event. I hope parents, you're all nice and cozy and comfortable up there. Um, we are very, very excited to bring this beautiful ceremony to you. Our students have been practicing since January and have learned their hula program and I think you're going to be very, very impressed with their performance. I would just ask that you take your phones and you turn them off. Concentrate on your children. Turn off your phones. We are filming, we are taking pictures, and we are live streaming. So you can sit back and relax and enjoy the pageantry of our program this morning. I'd like to introduce our own Kumu Kukini, who is responsible with our own Kumu Kamale for bringing this to you today. Aloha mai kako e ko Seabury Hall, amina kanaka apuni kohonua e nana nei. Greetings, Seabury Hall community and those around the world who are watching our live stream and who will watch our live stream in the future. We are very excited to bring to you folks Hey Hope Aloha 2023. Our students have been working very hard to showcase their love for not only the music of Israel Kamaka Ole, but also for Maui and Hawaii, our home. With that being said, we humbly ask all of you to stay for the duration of our performance. We'd also like to congratulate Kumu Kamale and his halau, Ke Kuo Kalao Ala Iliahi, on being overall Kane Halao. <laughs> overall Kane uh, Halao winning overall uh, this year, but not only this year, but last year also. So, again, congratulations, Kumu Kamale and Tia Halao. Speaking about Mary Monarch, a few years ago, um, well, if you don't know, Mrs. Madden is a huge Mary Monarch fan and spends hours, hours. hours and hours and watching every single minute of, hey, of Mary Monarch. A few years ago, she asked us, come on, you think we can have commentators like Mary Monarch does? <laughs> this year, we we're very honored. This year, we are very honored to have the talents and expertise of two of Maui's very own Kumu, Kumu Napua Greg and Kumu Luana Kova'a. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> and they are actually sitting in the original chairs that Kate Cooper had in her home in Cooper House. Oh. So we brought a little bit more history today as well. I hope they hold up. Lovely. Just don't... <laughs> I hope they hold up too. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy your morning. Thank you.
ಇನ್ನೋನು ಕಲಲ್ಲಿ ಜರ್ನಿ to the beautiful west maui mountains below those mountains is a beautiful place called navai eha doing for you a hula noho honoring the four great waters of navai eha ladies and gentlemen a song entitled imauya Inna, a welcome to all of you watching live on the live stream on the internet and of course all of you here in person at beautiful Seabury Hall. Welcome to Heha Upualoha 2023. Oh, cool. What a beautiful opening. We saw the traditional protocol the olikahea as well as the olikomo being done. Yes. So welcome the dancers to the stage. Mahalo kumu kamu. such an appropriate beginning to this heha upu aloha and i'd like to also note kumu kamale hails from not only halau kekua kala au ala iliahi his esteemed kumu hula kumu hula hau nani and iliahi paredes but also from this lovely lady who gave birth to him <laughs> <laughs> mahalo kumu mahalo nui Yes, mahalo kumu kamale for a beautiful kahiko opening.
ఈ లాలు gentlemen give it up for our fifth grade papa hula doing for you folks a melee entitled aloha kamanini iluna huli holo give them one more big round of applause What a beautiful way to begin the hula awana or yes. the modern hula. We saw the hula kahiko at the beginning, the ancient style of dance. And now I think it's the sixth grade class that started off the hula awana. You see the different kinds of costuming, the different kinds of lei that are worn between the hula kahiko as well as the hula awana. And Kumu, this is the second hula noho that we've seen so far. Really? Hula noho is the sitting hula and I think if you don't know, you might mistakenly think that the hula noho is an easy hula. Well, parents and family at home, I encourage you to sit that way for a few minutes <laughs> and then tell yourself if that's really the easier style of hula. So Maika'i, I th believe that was our Papa Elima. Papa Elima. With Aloha Kamanini, Maika'i Loa. Today we honor Israel Kamaka Vivo Ole. Ya oe hava inu ya kea, o ihi kapalau mai eva kuwa ina hanau. E oe na vai o na mokuo maui. E oe na vai e ha o wai luku. E oe kahakapa o hamakua poko. E oe kailua o hamakua loa. E oe mana vai nui o kaupo. E oe hanavi o koolau. E oe kavai papa o hana. E oe hono kohau o kaana pali. E oe kaua ula o lahaina. E oe wailea o honua ula. Eoe alele o kipahulu, 
e o e kulani hako i o kula, e o e kepuni o kahikinui. Ke loho mai kākou e nā hoa makamaka o keia kaialu nei o Maunalei, mai ka piina ka lā puka i ālau, ai kona velo ana i ka lāe o lā au o Moloka Inoe Aahina. Velina me ke aloha. My name is Lei Ohu and I am a junior here at Seabury Hall from Maka Ehu. We are honored to highlight our students this year at Seabury Hall in this year's Heha Upu Aloha. Mahalo nui for being here. We hope you enjoy the mele, hula, and ha'i olalo taught by Kumu Kamalei and Kumu Hukini. Mahalo. Aloha mai kako. my name is Kekai Apana. I'm a junior here at Seabury Hall, and I'm excited to share about this year's Heha Upu Aloha. Each year, a theme for our program is selected, and each grade level and faculty learn a hula related to this theme. The theme for this year's Heho Pu Aloha is Songs of Israel Kamaka Vivo Ole. This theme was chosen because of Israel's positive influence and powerful message of Aloha that was so clearly felt through his music. Israel Kamaka Vivo Ole, affectionately known as Brada Is, was born on May 20th, 1959 in Kaimuki, Oahu. As early as 10 years old, he would perform with his ukulele at Steamboats in Waikiki, where he got to meet and spend time with Hawaiian music icons like Gabi Pahinui and the Sons of Hawaii. All the musicians thought Israel was something special. I knew that someday he would change the world. But for now, they called him the kid with the ukulele. In his early teens, Israel met another young, talented musician named John Coco while on a beach in Makaha. The two hit it off, and this was the beginning of a band that everyone in Hawaii would soon come to know as the Makaha Sons of Niihau, consisting of Jerome Koko, Louis Moon Kawakahi, Skippy Kamako Vivo Ole, Israel Kamako Vivo Ole, and Sam Gray. The Makaha Sons became one of Hawaii's most famous bands and went on to record 21 albums, win many Nahoko Hanohano awards, and change Hawaiian music history forever. Following a successful run as one of the members of the Makaha Sons of Niihau, Iz decided to venture out on his own, and in 1990, Iz released his first solo album named Kaonoi, which won awards for Contemporary Album of the Year and Male Vocalist of the Year from the Hawaii Academy of Recording Arts. The production focused on Israel's stunning voice and launched his incredibly successful solo recording career. Iz went on to record many more successful albums in music, such as Hawaii 78, Point, Superman, White Sandy Beach, and Somewhere Over the Rainbow. With each passing year, Israel's presence in the music industry and sales of his recordings continue to grow. But, however, on June 26, 1997, at the age of 38, Israel passed away. But despite his passing, he continued to gain vast popularity. Israel has consistently remained in the top, in the top 10 of Billboard's world, and in 2005, his most successful album, Facing Future, reached platinum status, selling over 1 million copies. Also, his version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow has over 1 billion views on YouTube. This is an amazing story about an amazing man, the man referred to by many as the Hawaiian Superman. People often wonder, what made Israel such an influential musician and person? The answer is simple. His aloha spirit. As we embark on this journey together today, we hope to share this message of aloha through you, uh, with you through our mele and kula. Nana haumana o ka papa e ono o Siberi haone e hula i ke mele o amama. Na sema lama i haku i ke mele. Ma Honolulu i hanau i ai o sama lama, i kamaka hiki umi kumavalu kane eva kumavalu, i hanau i ai o sama lama. Ua hookani oya me kekahi hui puhi ohe kalana o Hawaii i kamaka hiki umi kuma eva iva kalua. Ua haku ia ke mele no ka ai ana i ka ia. Ame kapoi limu ni oi ame kapipiku. Enanea kako ikahula ame na leo heno heno okeya puukani. The students of the sixth grade class of Seabury Hall will dance to the song Ama Ama. The composer of the song is Samalama. On Honolulu, Samalama was born. In the year 1898, Samalama was born. He was part of the leading Hawaiian band in the 1920s. 
This song talks about different types of ways of eating fish with poi, seaweed, red peppers, and beef stew. Let's enjoy the dance and the sound of the song and class. Mahalo. It's a dish. Oh. It's a dish in Hawaii, and it's it's um, it's like a when when I looked it up, it's it's a like an Indian dish. It's like a curry. That's that's okay. what it said in, in, in the the research that I did. So Maika. that's what the students did with the motion, eating that curry and how good it feels going down your throat. Maika. Yeah, salva salva. I can relate to that. <laughs> Mahalo. Nakapapa ehiku o siveri hane e hula i kemele o panini pua kea. Na John Kamealoha Almeida i haku i ke mele. O oahu i hanao i ai o John Kamealoha Almeida. Ma oahu i hanao i ai o John Kamealoha Almeida. I haku 
ika makahiki umikuma valukana iva kuma hiku i hanau ia ia o John Kamelo Almeida. He kanaka haku mele kaulana oya a he puukhani ma kapo oya. He mele ia e ho'o halike like ana i kapo me ka panini puakea. E oli oli kako i keia hula amena leo nahe nahe o na pu'u kani. The seventh graders of Seabury Hall will be dancing panini pu'u kea. John Kame Aloha Almeida wrote this mele. On Oahu, John Kame Aloha Almeida was born. In the year 1897, John was born. He was a blind famous musician and wrote many songs. This song compares a loved one to a cactus flower. Let's enjoy this hula and the soft voices of the musicians. Ihone, ho chat again, chat again, chat again. Here we go. Five, six. Oh here, oh here, Ihone, ole aloha, kupu ho ai kanani ona pua. Au hea i hone o le aloha, kupu ho ai kananiya o na fua. Heia mai au o saui palilo, kai poi kea kapua ni ani. Heia mai au o saui palilo, kai poi kea kapua ni ani. Hey, ni valeo hali aloko, no velo mau o leita pu uvai. Hey, ni ani no o e pakelea ku, i kawai o tapani ni pu kea. Nawai no o e pakelea ku, i kawai o kapani ni pu kea. Haina i a mai e na kapuana, kupu i po i kea kapuani ani. Haina i a mai e na kapuana, kupu i po i kananiya o na pua. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for our seventh grade class. Lava, Huli, Holo. Aren't you folks lucky your Kumu sings this song, yeah? Good job, good job. Mahalo nui. Oh, Panini Pua Kea is one of my favorite songs. As uh, we heard earlier, it's comparing, it's talking about the white flower on the cactus. Now, many a Hawaiian mele compare women to flowers. And you might ask, who would want to be compared to the white flower on the cactus? Well, me, for one. Me, for one. Because she's not common. Yeah, she's not like the plumeria where you just walk in your yard and you can pick her. Oh, no, no. You have to search, you have to search, and you have to hike and, and you know. And dig through thorns. Dig through thorns. <laughs> you have to know your elements, don't go on a windy day. So if you're clueless away, you're gonna get, oh, ouch. <laughs> a lot of kauna, yeah, we call that kauna. Definitely, and that's the beauty of Hawaiian yes. mele. You gotta know the meaning. kauna, the underlying meanings to really enjoy. And we certainly enjoyed that mele. Didn't you enjoy it? Na kapapa e valu e hula i ke mele o hi i labe. Na Sam li a kalai naina senior lawa o Louis pa nui i haku i ke ia mele. Ma wai pio i ha nau ia ai o Sam li a kalai naina senior. I ka maka hiki umikuma balu kana balu kuma kahi i hānau ia ai o Samli o Kalai Naina Senior. He hookele kaa o nā kaa miula o ia mamahi o kukui haile. 
Hemele e pidiana i ke kahi pidina alohoma baina o ke kahi vahine no puna a ke kahi kane no hamokua. In a near cocko i ke yohula amen a leo heno heno o ke yamau kani. The eighth grade will dance to the song he lave. This song was composed by Sam Lee Akalai Naina Sr. and Louis Pa Nui. It was in Waipio, Hawaii that Sam Lee Akalai Naina Sr. was born. In the year 1881, Sam Lee Akalai Naina Sr. was born. He was a driver of mule-drawn wagons at Kukui Haile Plantation. This song is about the relationship between a woman from Puna and a man from Hamokua. Now let's enjoy this hula along with the beautiful voices of these musicians. Kumaka, kumaka, kai kina ya hihi lave, tu papalo hi mai ya oma ukele. Kumaka, kai kina ya hihi lave, tu papalo hi mai ya oma ukele. Pakele mai ya ui. Kere mai au i tanu i manu, awala au ne puni mai pi o. Aole no au e no amai, ai uni mai au no te tuai. Aole no au e no amai, ai u. He wa he wa o e na tuma tuai, a he le i a i na ha tu tuai. He wa he wa o e na tuma tuai, a he le i a i na ha te tu. Ke alai hali amai, noho i tawai lele a o hi i lave. Hai na i a mai an na ka pua i na, ku mo ka kai ke na i a i lave. Hai na i a mai an na ka pua i na. Kaka i ke na ya hi lave, hi lave, hi lave, no hi lave. Lava, huli, holo. Mai kai loa. This is one of my favorite songs, Hi Ilave. Yes. If I'm called up to dance, it'll probably be Hi Ilave that you'll see me dancing. But what a wonderful job. Paipa ilima. Let's give them a round of applause. And it's easy to dance, hula, when you have ono music. Yes. Yeah? A round of applause for our musicians as well. Speaking of which, it looks like Hawaiian Ensemble is going to take the stage yes, to hear many for their us. But, you know, Kumu Kamale, I, I have to say, Seabury Hall has done such a remarkable job in hiring talented Kumu. <laughs> The 
first song we will be playing is White Sandy Beach, written by Willie Dan, but performed by Israel Kamakavivo. White Sandy Beach was written after a walk on the beach with his wife, and we invite you all to enjoy this song as we are accompanied by our sixth grade hula students. This next song is called Ulupalakua by John P. Ilani Watkins, and it speaks about the home of the cowboys. Um, this up country, <laughs> this place up country um, is known for the beauty, its beauty <laughs> and the sweet scent of ginger in the air.
This next song is Nohilie by Miriel Amalu. This song is about the beach Nohili on the island of Kauai. She describes the beauty of this beach and her love for it. Joining us for this song is Pasha and Nikki sharing a beautiful hula. We hope you enjoy as we share the beauty of Nohili. Ka'ulu Vehi Oke Kai, written by Edith Kanaka Ole, is a traditional Hawaiian song which talks about Edith and her family going down to the ocean, enjoying their time together, and collecting seaweed from the ocean. We invite you to join us on this adventure to the ocean.
This next song is called Kainoa by James Onotaka, and it is a deeply romantic love song that the composer metaphorically wrote to show how much love they have for this person named Kainoa. This song is performed by our amazing upper school Hula students. Please enjoy. How about a big round of applause for our Hawaiian ensemble students, yeah? All right. At this time, we have a very special presentation. We'd like to um, feature Lei Ohu Terli one of our Mauna Lea scholars, an amazing student indeed. She's going to do for you folks a melody written by her, Kumuhula, 
a beautiful song entitled Kowa Yo Kalena. Beautiful job. Mahalo nui le ohu. And mahalo to Hawaiian Ensemble. They did quite a awesome. few numbers. I'm very, very impressed. You know, like I said earlier, we, we're very blessed here at Seabury Hall to have talented, talented Kumu. Our Kumu Kamale is not just a Merry Monarch award-winning hula practitioner, but he's also a Nahoku Hano Hano award-winning Grammy-nominated musician. Mahalo, mahalo. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, I try to fly under the radar here at Seabury Hall. Um, no, we, so, we, so mahalo nui, we fly mahalo. over. Mahalo. We fly over at Seabury Hall. Although we like to think our kids perform that way because of us, <laughs> I'm sure Kumu Kamale has a huge, huge part in the wonderful performances we're having to see today. Mahalo nui. Beautiful. Mahalo. Naka papa iva o sibre hone, e hugo ikea mele o kuhiobe. 
na Keliana Bisha i haku i keia mele. Na ma moloka i han nau i ai o Keliana Bisha. I ka makahiki umi kuma valu kana iwa kuma lima i han nau i ai o Keliana Bisha. He kupuna aloha nui o Keliana Bisha no na ohana nui o moloka i. He meleki ia e ho'ohano hano ya hilo, a me vai kea, a me vai anue nue. E na nea pu kako, ikea hula me na leohone. Seabury Hall's ninth grade class was performing to the song Kuhio Bay. This song was composed by Keliana Bisha. Keliana, B Keliana Bisha was born in Moloka'i. In the year 1865, Keliana Bisha was born. Kaliana Bisha was a beloved elder for many families in Molokai. This song honors Hilo, Bayakea, and the Rainbow Falls. Let's enjoy this dance and harmonious melodies. Mahalo. Akahi, akahi hoi, ai ke kuumaka, i kanani, a oe a kea, a o he lua, e li kea hai, me kanani, a me kanani a o kuhi o be. Kananiya o kuhi o me Mahalo a e au I kananiya o hilo Me ka ua A e ho o pulu nei O niya na moku o la Au i ke ka Mahalo to the Papa Eva, grade nine. Yes, our first high school, upper school, Awana performance. I love the use of their pa'u and their sashes, the colors of the ocean. Absolutely stunning. The blues are stunning on the wahine with their pa'u, as well as the kane wearing the sashes. We see kind of that monarchy era when you look at the white long sleeve shirt as well as the black slacks. We see that during our monarchy period being worn for both the hula awana as well as the hula kahiko. Maika'i mahalo ya oko Mahalo. The color is very appropriate for Kuhiobe. Speaking of the beautiful ocean there. Mahalo, Papa Eva. Give them a round of applause. Naka Papa Umi o Siberi Hone e hula ike mele o ulilie. Na George Keahi a me heri na ope i haku ike ia mele. Mahilo ia nao ia ai o heri na ope. I 
ko makahiki, umi ko mawalu, kanahiku ko maiwa, i hanau ia ai o herina ope. He kumu himeni, ana na i ho o kumu, i ka papa himeni, hale pule o haili, ma ka hale pule o kalepo lepo i maui. He mele, he mele e pili ana, or he mele ke ia e pili ana, i ka ulili e ame ke kuleo ma koa i. E nā nei a kākou i ka hula a me nā leo heno heno o ke ia pūukani. Seabury Hall's 10th te grade class will be performing to the song Ulilie. George Keahi and Harry Naope composed this song. Harry Naope was born in Hilo. Harry Naope was born in 1879. He was a music teacher and the founder of the Haile Church Choir at Kalepo Lepo Chapel in Maui. This is a song about the wandering toddler and golden plover in Kauai. Let's enjoy this dance and the beautiful melodies of this song. to Papa Umi, Kumu Napu and I were enjoying yes. this presentation, this watching the smiles. Class. It's a huge class, yeah, what a big group. Excellent job portraying the ulili, the manu. Did you see those bird motions that they were doing? Really depicting that particular bird. Mahalo Nui. Good job, you guys. You know, Kumu, every year I come to Seabury Hall's Heha Upu Aloha. I'm just amazed at the quality of dancing, the dressing, you know, they're mayao, they're neat, they're together. I want to also commend all of the teachers, all of the Kumu here at Seabury Hall, because we see here we have so many teachers that the whole faculty and staff really gets involved with Heha Upu Aloha. We see our teachers here keeping our classes in line. Yes, them mahalo. To walk. So, you know, it's a, it's a family affair here at Seabury Hall, and it really takes a village to be able to get our haumana, our students, up here and do the wonderful job that they're doing. So, mahalo to all of our faculty. Yes, mahalo. Staff. Mahalo nui. All the behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. 
Na kapapa ume kumakahi o sibere hane e hula ana i keia mele o kapua ui. Na baina masmen e haku i keia mele o kapua ui. Mahana lulu wahu i hanau i a mai ai o baina masmen. I kamaka hiki ume kumakvalu kana iba kumakolu i hanau i a mai ai o baina masmen. He pu'u kani he leo himeni. He haku mele Hawaii o baina masmen. I kamaka hiki umi kuma iba kana iba kuma valu. I koho ia o baina masmen i ka Hawaiian Music Hall of Fame. E nā nea kako i ka hula o ka papa umi kuma kahi a me nā leo hone hone o nā pu'u kani. It is the 11th grade of Seabury Hall who will be dancing this mele kapua ui. This mele was written by Baina Mossman. Baina Mossman was born on Honolulu, Oahu in 1893. She is a famed composer of Hawaiian music. In 1998, Baina Mossman was inducted into the Hawaiian Music Hall of Fame. Now, please sit back and enjoy the amazing hula of the 11th grade class and the music of our musicians. Aloha, aloha, wau ia o e kui po, kulei no mi, kumili mili, o ka heke o e o na pua, o ke kupuna e hi i poi nei. Aloha, wau ia o e kui po, kulei na ni, kumili mili, o ka heke o e o na pua, Kamana o ke i ke aku Komaka palu palu e ke aloha Ke aloha i pili e i ka buvai A he lehi e hi e na kamakua Haoli kamana o ke i ke aku Komaka palu palu e ke aloha Ke aloha i pili e i ka buvai Ahe lehi e hi e nā kamakua Puana kainoa o kui po Kuu leina ni lima ka mai He no he aloe i kuu maka E ka pua ui o e ona lani Puana kainoa o kui po Kamai, he no he oi ku umaka e kapua ui o e ona lani. Lava, huli, holo. Mahalo anui to the Papa Umi Kumakahi, our 11th graders. I just love this song. And as a grandmother of two mo'opunawahine, two granddaughters, yes. the words of this mele are so true. We just adore them. And when we look at them, they are the, the momi makamai, the most precious, precious pearl to us. Yes, mahalo to our Papa, our juniors, Umi Kumakahi. I want to make a special note, and how about a round of applause for our, our speakers, those introducing our mele. You know, I know those of you, um, I see some familiar faces in our in-person audience. I know some of you watching on live on the internet. Uh, remember a time where Olelo Hawaii, Hawaiian language, was not always spoken here at Seabury Hall. And to be able to hear it today and spoken so 
proficiently and so beautifully, we also want to commend Kumu Kukini Sua, who heads our Mahalo. Hawaiian Studies Department. Mahalo e ke Kumu. Nā ka papa umikuma lua e hula i kamele o henehene ko aka. Nā pono bimer a me kona mau hoa papa ma kamehameha o ahu i haku i keia mele. Ma honolulu i hanau i ai o pono bimer. I ka makahiki umikuma iwa a me eha i hanau i ai o pono bimer. <coughs> o pono bimer ka makua kane o ka haku mele kaulana o winona bimer. Ua haku ia keia mele no ka haalulu ana o ka ipo a ka haku mele e ike komo ana o ka ipo a ka haku mele i ke ka awila no ia mea ka henehene ko aka. E nānea pū kākou i keia hula, hula a me nā leo heno heno o keia mau pūukani. The 12th grade class will dance to the song Henehene ko aka. Pono Beamer and some of his classmates at Kamehameha on Oahu composed this song. On Oahu, Pono Beamer was born. In the year 1904, Pono Beamer was born. Pono Beamer is the father of famous composer Winona Beamer. This song was written when Pono Beamer's girlfriend stepped into an electric car for the first time and was frightened by the vibration. Therefore, the title of the song, Hene Hene Ko Aka. Let's enjoy together this hula and these sweet voices of these musicians. I'm 
na mai kapuana ko ale ale apa ha e me ama ama ia for you and i Gentlemen, give it up for our seniors. Lava. Ooh, Hene Hene Ko Aka is a song that is quite familiar for us today. Oh, so sweet. We have a special presentation. For our seniors, our Papa Elima, our youngest. They present Lei Lai or the Tili Play to the eldest, to the Hiapo of the school. Beautiful to see the Poki'i, the younger ones, doing this for the older Kuana. Yeah? A very special presentation that we would like to do. Our fifth graders giving lay to our seniors as their last heha upwaloha. How appropriate is it um, to, to honor our seniors, right? Give, them, give our seniors another round of applause. Mahalo. How about our fifth grade for being um, so diligent in giving these, these beautiful makana to our seniors? Mahalo. All right, mahalo seniors, mahalo fifth grade. You folks can now come off to the side. Mahalo nui. from all of our haumana here at Seabury Hall. Amazing. How about you, Kumu? Beautiful. Just beautiful. My heart is definitely overflowing seeing um, Hawaiian language, Hawaiian culture, and hula really thriving here at Seabury. Mahalo. Mahalo yaoko pakahi for your hard work. Mahalo kumu kamali. And I believe there is a very special presentation happening now. And I know this is part of the tradition that yes. we see each oh, this year. This is my favorite. This yes, is my favorite definitely. part. The faculty and staff of Seabury Hall yes. taking the stage. And as we can hear, our audience, our in-person audience, is also their favorite part of the day also. Our students really look forward. I don't know, Kumu, of any other school on the island any other school on the island whose I, I faculty and staff practice and work on performing a hula for the student body. They practice what they preach here at Seabury Hall. Definitely. They walk the talk. Yeah, what Definitely. a great example for the students as well. We're excited to see this presentation. Kumu Kamale, you're going to take it from here? Uh oh, we got more coming. <laughs> I know, you know, I used to, I used to, I was blessed to be part of the faculty and staff here at Seabury Hall. And so I know these teachers work very hard. After they work hard teaching our students, they come to after school practices, they give up, give up of their own time to be able to do this today. So we're really, really honored to be able to take part of this presentation today. And all of the students are lined up up there to watch their teachers as well. Maikai. The faculty will now be dancing to Kaleo Hano by Moon Kawakaki. This melody was written for Richard Kuhn. This mele was written for Richard Kuakini, Piggy Kaleo Hano. In the song, Kawakahi compares the beauty of the place he grew up in to describe the humble and kind of person Uncle Piggy was. 
This melee and hula are dedicated to Miss Elaine Nelson and Miss Gail Hart. Please enjoy. Hanaho! All right. <laughs> I know. Everyone, give it up fired. for our, our brave faculty. <laughs> give it up, give it up for our faculty members. Leading by example. <laughs> Leading by example. Mahalo Nui. At this time, we would like to invite all of our, our faculty and our students to please join us here on the floor. You can join us. Um, you can join everybody on the floor. So awesome. We're going to talk a little bit about the beautiful song they just danced, Kaleo Hano. You're familiar with the tune. Kaleo Hano is not a place, but it is a song written in honor of a person. Uncle Piggy Kaleo Hano from Hawaii Island, from Keokaha. Keokaha was his home. A dear, dear friend of our family, a wonderful Hawaiian musician. He did the sound at Mary Monarch forever. And so he was a, a beloved friend of Uncle Moon Kawakahi, who I believe wrote this song in his honor. Beautiful we job honoring that mele. And this is my favorite part, seeing everyone come out to the gym floor. All of the haumana, as well as all of the kumu. You know, I think heha upu aloha really is seeing the fruits of your labor, right? As you have, all of you as kumu have worked so hard to make this day happen. Mahalo nui for such a wonderful presentation.
Aloha Kako. My name is Kaimana Brummel, and I have the honor today in Ahomana to announce the winners of our very first He Haupu Aloha Awards for excellence in hula and in preparation for today's event. I'm back here, friends. <laughs> Aloha. I echo so much of what our commentators and our announcers said. Whew, try not to cry. <laughs> we have come such a long way, Seabury Hall. We really have. All right, in Ahaumana, you have all known about this special award. There are two. The Pokii Award is, uh, well, Pokii means our beloved younger sibling. So for the grades five through eight, they were working hard for the Pokii Award. And then for grades nine through 12, they were working hard towards the Kaoi Onapua Award. I want to emphasize that today's awards are not awarded merely for the performance, but the overall preparation for today. Seabury Hall and its administration prioritizes and gives class time, advisory time, and just time in a very busy spring to prepare for He Ha'upu Aloha. And as you guys have seen live on the live stream and here in person, it is truly paid off in performance, and in the growth of our students. So the winners of the Po Ki'i Award for grades five through eight is Papa Elima, the fifth grade class. <laughs> they have many years to defend that title. For I think the message is, let's go, Mary. Okay, Papa, the Papa who won Kaoi Onapua. Not an easy task with 100 kids, but Papa Umi, 10th grade, congratulations. That was a big All right. How about a huge congratulations to every single one of you for doing such an amazing job today. Give it up for our parents who come out here and support us, drop us off at the school, make sure that we get our clothes. Give it up for the faculty who are here supporting us as well, our commentators, our teachers, our administration, our leaders, everyone who, who has a hand in making this possible. I mentioned this this morning, and it truly is a community thing. It takes a community and a village to, to put something like this on and to do it so excellently and well. So mahalo Seabury Hall. We'd like to invite everybody to Kuiluna to please join us in singing Hawaii Aloha. E Hawaii, e Hawaii. Pa mai ne 
Thank you very much. Travel safely and aloha.